Hello everyone, it is Erin Flitter here, and today I'm going to be talking about affiliates. So uh, this is a video that I've wanted to do for quite a while about like what being an affiliate means to me. And then I also have an exciting announcement at the end. So please stay tuned all the way until the end um, if you are interested in becoming an affiliate of mine. So um, being an affiliate, this is all raw, by the way, I don't, I don't have any sort of script or anything like that. I just want to talk about what being an affiliate means to me, because I think that it kind of gets lost in the weeds a little bit when it comes to um, certain types of people and becoming an affiliate of a lot of different companies and not being able to trust what someone says because they are an affiliate. So I just want to clear things up for me personally. I can't speak for a lot of other people, but I can speak for myself and and how I view being an affiliate. So um, I am an affiliate of two companies, two companies, <laughs> uh, Creative Market and Archer and Olive. I also have an affiliate link for Amazon where it's just like, oh, these are things that I've bought that I highly recommend. Um, I don't really make money off of that at all. It's just something that I include because it's the easiest way to link a bunch of products that I've um, that I've used in the past and, and really uh, have enjoyed. So all, all in all, I have three affiliate links. I used to also be an affiliate for Cricut. However, when everything went down with how they decided to, um, let's just say it, in a nice way, change things up um, where they were only going to allow users to upload 20 designs, um, I decided that I, that is no longer a company that I resonate with and that I, as being a person that uploads literally hundreds of designs a month, I can't like encourage someone to buy a product that especially for me being a sticker maker and encouraging people to use it for sticker making, I don't, I, I just can't be an affiliate for a company like that anymore. So I really, I, I'm very picky when it comes to brands that I work with. I'll, I'll do giveaways for brands and I'll work with brands um, for like limited contracts, but being an affiliate is something that for me means I am wholeheartedly endorsing a company. That means I've worked with them. I know that they have good foundations. I know that they have good morals and I know that they are in the best interest of the people that they are serving because companies inherently are serving other people, right? So that's the, that's the decision that I've made when I've become an affiliate for companies. So right now I'm only an affiliate for two companies, Archer and Olive, which has really, really high morals in, in my opinion. Um, I know the background of that company. I know the people that are behind that company and I know what they stand for. Um, they do a lot with mental health. They do a lot with the environment. They do a lot with social justice. And so, and, and working with artists and paying artists fairly. And that is a big thing for me. So I am affiliated with Archer and Olive. I am on the design team for Archer and Olive. And then the other one I'm affiliated with is Creative Market. And that's because I find that site to be so, so useful. Um, and the artists themselves are uploading and putting their artwork out there onto that site. Um, it's something that I haven't really talked about much, um, mostly because I'm still trying to figure out how. I've, I've been a an affiliate for a while, but I'm still trying to figure out how to navigate um, sharing things that I've used on there. So those are the only affiliations that I'm a part of and why I'm a part of them. So I hope that kind of clears up into like what it takes for me personally to be an affiliate. Um, if I don't agree with a product that a company previously in the future, whatever, is putting out there, 
I'll talk to them behind the scenes and, and ask them personally before I go public with things. Um, that's what I did with Cricut. I asked them behind the scenes um, why they were making this choice. They never reached back out to me to talk to me about what, <laughs> why on God's earth they were making that um, decision, uh, especially right before they were going public. Um, it, it was a little shady. And so they never reached back out to me, so I cut ties. And, and honestly, that's just, that's how I've um, decided that I'm going to work it with anything in any company. So um, what is an affiliate? It's someone that is associated with a brand and makes commissions based on an affiliate link. So that's, that's a really basic version of it. Um, a lot of companies have affiliate links um, and don't quite compensate fairly. Um, the companies that I've chosen to work with do compensate fairly. So um, that is what I'll say about that. Um, and so why affiliates? I, I know a lot of people get really annoyed with like the PR teams and the design teams and the affiliate links and whatever else that they call them. But to be honest, I would rather hear it First of all, most companies that do this are small companies, you know, that they are using, um, if you think about it in terms of politics, it's kind of like grassroots, right? Where you have people that are in the business, that are in, that are invested in products, um, stationary products, whatever, um, graphic design products, if you're talking about um, creative market. And so you have people that are in the business that are using those tools and products. And so if anyone is going to know if that product is good, it's gonna be people that are on the ground constantly using them, right? So that's kind of why um, I am personally looking for affiliates now is because it's kind of like this grassroots movement where it's it's hard for one person especially a small business owner to reach a lot of people it takes a lot of hours in a day i know i'm a business owner but i also have a full-time job so i know how hard it can be to do marketing to market yourself to uh, put together blogs to put together emails to um, send information out to patrons to do X, Y, and Z, to share on Pinterest, all the things, all the social media. So it's really, really hard. And so the grassroots movement is the, this type of affiliation, um, especially for small businesses, is really, really important just to reach one more person because if you one person gets like one extra sale a month, it could mean someone deciding to keep going with that business. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to small businesses. It's like, I just need to reach X amount of sales and I can justify keep going, keep going, keep going. Because it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that go into owning a business. So for me, I've reached that point where I'm, there's too much going on. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time when it comes to marketing myself. And so I'm putting a lot of background effort into the products that I make, but then it's hard not getting the sales or the amount of patrons or whatever to justify it. D do you know what I mean? So um, for me, I am opening up an affiliate program because I think that, um, and I hope uh, that I'm fostering a community just like communities that I've been in when I've been an affiliate. Um, so I will have a link in the description below. Basically what I'm doing is asking uh, folks to fill out a form that says, um, this is why I wanna be an affiliate 
for Aaron Photo Designs. These are my social media accounts um, that I think can really assist you and assist me when it comes to moving forward together. That That is the kind of program that I want to foster personally. So um, I am limiting it to folks with lettering or bullet journaling planning types of accounts. Um, I'm not taking personal accounts at the moment. Uh, I, I want it to be geared towards the products that I produce um, rather than folks that are not in the community um, showing the products, if that makes sense. Um, so affiliates will get a discount in my shop and uh, they will be able to uh, give out an affiliate link and a coupon code associated with their accounts. So I will uh, stop it right there and I hope you guys are interested in becoming an affiliate of mine. Um, the form, in, the form <laughs> is in the description down below and I really, really appreciate any type of feedback um, it, and uh, your thoughts on affiliates because I know it can get really bizarre when there's like people that are, you know, the, the main influencer people that are showcasing items that the, they have never used, they will never use, their manager writes the caption for them, X, Y, and Z, like how can you trust those people? So I wanna foster a group that um, people can trust when it comes to their affiliation with me and my group. And I hope that you guys can trust me when it comes to my affiliations with the companies that I choose to work with. So all that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you all are excited if you are going to sign up for affiliates. Um, I do have a limited, a limited amount of spots. So um, I, I, I just hope that there's any interest to be honest. Um, this is something that's very new to me and I don't know. Hopefully it goes well. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you later. Bye, everyone.